Sava YouTube. It's Reesh Shin. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. And please don't for click, forget to click the notification bell. But now I'm sure as I have started this video over so many times, it's not even funny. Trying to get the right look, trying to, to create the right script. I, I'm just going to share what's going on with me as I always do and how I, what I'm learning from these YouTube streets and how I incorporate that into my positive paradigm shift. Uh, I know it's been a minute since I posted. I apologize. I um, have got to get better at posting every Monday. As you know, today is Thursday. Um, so I'll be, my goal is to post every Monday and be consistent with that. I'm not into resolutions. I am into uh, goal setting. So that's one of my goals. Another one of my goals is to continue on with this positive paradigm shift and to um, strongly incorporate positive steps in every aspect of my life. I want meditations, um, trigger disarmaments, I want um, a, a more stoic, Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, um, philosophy down to the DNA. Because I am very convinced that my happiness is uh, my happiness. It, it's my responsibility. Um, so I've had to do some unpacking of some behaviors. One of which is a lesson that I had to relearn um, and a lesson that I'm seeing in the YouTube streets that someone that's a very popular YouTuber is learning, either learning for the first time or relearning as well. Um, you can't let everybody into your circle can't let everybody into your house you can't let everybody into your physical house because you don't know their motives and they see that you have more than what than they do and they have that kind of spirit on them you have no idea who they're who they know so they can know folks that know how to break in steal your stuff and that, that same person who set you set, set you up to be robbed will be sitting there with you boo-hooing right along with you like I can't believe this happened to you you're just such a nice person and they're the person that set you up to be robbed or said I've, I've had family members literally steal from me um you can't even imagine I mean those who've ever you've ever if you've ever had a family member steal something from you and lie to your face and you know it was that they stole from you. There's nothing like that in the world. But it's not just allowing people to physically come in your house, but um, around having folks around you that don't have your best interest at heart. That's allowing them into your emotional house and, the, and into your spiritual house, your mental house. I saw this meme today that said, watch for those people that when you do well, don't clap for your success. Watch for them. They will, that, that behavior is definitely behavior you don't want around you. So I'm sharing with you my lesson and how I'm, I mean, and I say, uh, and I can't say that anything in particular has happened in the last couple of weeks that have, has brought that lesson to the surface. It's just as I'm doing this par positive paradigm shift, I'm unpacking a lot of, of, 
uh, I'm unpacking a lot of survival mechanisms that I no longer need. And there's a lot of them that were, that are, they, I use them to survive very mm, unhealthy situations. But now I'm in a better place. I don't need those any longer. So I'm getting rid of them, but I have to unpack them first. I have to even recognize that they were even a part of, you know, my wardrobe. So that was the lesson. You gotta watch who you let in your house. So as I'm learning that lesson, or re that lesson's being reinforced, and I'm um, as I'm unpacking these unhealthy um, mechanisms, uh, unhealthy survival mechanisms that I've used to survive as I grew up and then I was a young adult and into my as a becoming an older adult. I'm watching YouTube and I see this young lady, Stephanie So, Stephanie Sue, it's S O O. She's a, a very popular mukbanger. Now everybody knows if you don't know what mukbang is, is when people actually just sit and eat food in their house. It's like large quantities of food too at one sitting. That's not me. So I don't really watch that kind of stuff, but I've seen she's trending. And the reason she's trending is because of a another mukbanger that has some very questionable behaviors that she may have ignored at first, but became um she found herself in a very uncomfortable situation and it got worse especially after she posted why she actually fears this guy and then the guy comes back and he's using other mukbangers um, pictures of her inside of her house I mean there's some stuff that he's done that I bet any of my money she didn't think would ever happen. I mean, I, there's a video of the three mukbangers in question of them eating noodles. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Again, I don't. That's not something I will sit and watch. I like to watch people that travel all over the world. They're eating different exotic foods, but just you're you're in your kitchen, you're eating some noodles. That just that doesn't do anything for me. Again, I bring her up to say she is learning this lesson that you can't let everybody in your house. Like she can't, she let him physically in her house, and now she's now printed or has another video out that's showing this man has taken a picture of her security system without her consent in her house. Um, a picture of this security system that shows that there was a, it was blurred out, but what was said, the picture of the security system was, it was the monitor was blurred out. But what has been said is that he, that you could see all the pertinent information of, of, about her and in her house on this monitor. So she had physically let this man in her house and he physically has issues with her. Now she's finding out one, he never liked her. And that came from him texting another mother. I mean, it's drama, like, but you allow somebody in your house that doesn't like you, but you didn't know that because you may have not taken enough time to get to know this person. But he has problematic videos all over YouTube. And maybe she ignored that. Maybe she didn't think that he would be that way with her. But now it's coming out that he's got a lot of problematic, He's, but I guess my, I mean, it's kind of like when you're dating. You date this guy, you, you, you find yourself attracted to a guy or a girl. And because you're attracted to them, you ignore the red flags and you let them 
in your house. Lord knows I've done that enough times. So it's a lesson that I'm unpacking again. Can't let everybody in your house. 